Now imagine if you had that level of sophistication in your business, what would that do for you? If you could guarantee that all your clients are going to be successful and you could stop problems before they even become problems, what's that going to do for your rate of referrals? Welcome to Built to Scale, where we have real conversations with entrepreneurs just like you about what it takes to build a thriving business without sacrificing your personal life. My name is Craig Severinsen, and I help people make more money working with better clients while also working less. And now I'm sharing it all with you. Let's dive in. What is up, everybody, and welcome to episode 27 of Built to Scale, and I'm super excited about this episode because we're going to be talking about the key to client retention, which is your client success system. This is another solo episode, and what I really wanted to do here with you is dive a little bit deeper into the Built to Scale framework. We've talked about it a couple times. You've heard me, you know, in the last episode, I gave you an overview of it. But I wanted to give you some real tangible, here's how you use it, and some examples around it. And since the framework is so large, I wanted to zoom in particular into one of the systems, and that is your client success system. Now, why did I choose this system? And it's because retention is the unsung hero of business growth. Okay, I always like to imagine like you're walking the wrong way up an escalator. And every time you make a sale, it's like taking a step up. But every time a client contract expires or a client stops working with you, it's like the escalator is moving backwards. So you can make sales all day long, but if you're losing clients just as fast as you're making those sales, guess what? You're either going to be standing in place or actually moving backwards down that escalator. So the goal is to retain more clients. And when you can retain more clients, you can grow more easily. You can be more profitable. And I think there is one client of mine that really exemplifies this kind of concept because they were able to maintain and retain rather like 90% of their clients. They barely lost a client. And each year they would put the goal to simply sell two more clients because two more clients represented at least another $100,000 to their business. Can you imagine that? You retain your clients so well, they stay with you and continue to pay you for so long that all you have to do is make one or two sales a year and you grow by about $100,000. That is the power of retention. Now, you know, his prices and your prices are not the same. So don't get me wrong. I'm not guaranteeing you $100,000 a year if you just retain better. What I'm trying to tell you is that there is so much opportunity in retention and it also makes your sales and your marketing so much easier. So why a client success system? Why is that the solution to retention? And it really comes down to time and in particular, your time. You do not have the ability as you grow to service every single client and do the marketing and do the sales and do, you know, so on and so forth, everything, right? Like you just don't have the time. So the client success system, its goal is to enable your business to grow past you, to reclaim your time and also guarantee that your clients get the results that they're being promised, right? Make sure that your clients are being serviced and taken care of at a top notch level. So what does this look like in real tangible um, action steps, right? I've got two examples for you. So the first one is a social media management company that I work with. And uh, we know, you know, right now, as I'm recording this, we're in September, we know the end of the year is coming up and we know that her clients she's in the B2B space, that at the end of the year, either, you know, they'll fall into one of two camps. Either in December, they'll be trying to spend the rest of their budget so that they can keep it the next year, or they'll be preparing for new spending with the new budget come January. So we know that at the end of the year, her business is going to experience an influx of clients because they're going to be primed. They're going to be ready. She's doing all the marketing to get them on, you know, get those phone calls and make the sales. 
So we know that there's going to be an influx, but we also know that right now she's at capacity. So what do we do? That's the problem right now, right? Is we're at capacity, but we have to prepare for more clients. Now, what most people do is they cross their fingers and they hope and pray, and they either book themselves solid and burn out, or they miss out on the opportunity. But if you're smart, and if you think ahead, and if you leverage the built to scale framework, then you're going to start working on your client success system. So what is she doing? She's building SOPs so that she can hire uh, more VAs and hand off more responsibility to her VAs. She's looking at who can I hire, what systems do I need, and what tools do I need to take the responsibility of service delivery off my shoulders, put it onto somebody else, but still guarantee that I'm going to get the results that I that I deserve or that my clients deserve. So she's putting together standards of excellence and and systems and processes to meet those standards. And before she hits that influx, she's testing her new team. She's giving them more responsibility. She's working out the bugs. She's preparing for growth. So when you do a client success system right, like she's done, it will save you time and it will still get the results for your clients, which is super cool. I want to give you another example of another company that also has a really stellar client success system. And they are in the um, events, conversion events um, space. So they they run ads and help you uh, run some sort of event that converts into sales. So their client success system is so dialed in. And I'm so impressed by how they did this. Because what basically happened is they were halfway through a project with a client and they stopped and they could see the red flags that this client was not going to be successful. And they knew why this client wasn't going to be successful. They're so dialed in with their system that they knew before the problems even surfaced, the red flags that were going to cause problems. And so they were able to stop and say, hey, let's go back and redo these portions or let's tweak these things so that you are successful. Now, imagine if you had that level of sophistication in your business, what would that do for you? If you could guarantee that all your clients are going to be successful and you could stop problems before they even become problems, what's that going to do for your rate of referrals from your clients, your clients' satisfaction levels? What's that going to do for your headache level, right? Your your clients are going to be happy as clams. So you're not going to have any headaches anymore, right? This is the power of the client success system. So that's all we have time to dive in for on on this episode. Um, But check out the Built to Scale book. It's coming out October 18th. If you listen to this past that date, go buy it right now. Don't wait. Go right now. Go to Amazon. Type in Built to Scale. My name, Craig Severinsen. Uh, The book will come up and buy it. Um, If not, you know, you got to wait just a couple weeks and then you can go buy it if you're not at October 18th yet. But go get this book. Because what I just described to you is one piece of a much larger puzzle, and it has the power to absolutely change your life, to change the trajectory of your business so that you can get past that hump and really build a business worth building. Until next time, take some fast focus, imperfect action. I believe in you. I got your back. We'll talk soon. See ya. Thanks so much for listening. If this episode helped you, share with someone who needs to hear it as well. For more information on how you can work with me and great resources for your business, head over to builttoscalehq.com. Join us next time for Built to Scale. And until then, take some fast-focused, imperfect action. I believe in you. I got your back. We'll talk soon.